students today we are going to solve a question from particle physics and this question basically asked in ti for 2021 so in that question they have given there is a s wave capturing of pi minus meson by neutron in the ground state and which produced two neutron okay so we have to calculate we have to calculate the total orbital quantum number as well as total spin quantum number of product. Okay, so let us solve this question. So as you know that pi meson and deuteron, this interaction is always allowed by strong interaction. Okay, and for strong interaction, parity should be conserved. Okay. Now, how we'll calculate that parity? So, total parity is nothing but minus on key power L. This is orbital part. And then you have to take intrinsic parity. Okay. So let us calculate the total parity of initial state. So PI, total parity of initial state, that should be equal to how much? Minus on key power L. This is the orbital part. And for S wave capturing, for S wave, L is how much? That should be equal to zero. So that there is no contribution of orbital part. Then we have to calculate or we have to take the intrinsic parity of pi minus and intrinsic parity of deuteron. Okay. As we know that intrinsic parity of pi minus, this is we know that is the value of minus one. Okay. Now we have to calculate that intrinsic parity of deuteron. So we know deuteron is basically made up of the proton and neutron, right? If you see that structure of neutron, it has only on proton and on neutron. So total intrinsic parity of a neutron will be how much? Multiplication of intrinsic parity of proton and intrinsic parity of neutron. Okay. Since both are fermions, so their intrinsic parity is basically how much? Plus on into plus on. So it means that intrinsic parity of deuteron will be how much? This will be simply plus one. Okay. It means that initial state parity. So this will be on for pi minus it is minus one. And PD that we have calculated that is plus one. So total initial state parity that will be how much? That will be simply minus one. And then we will calculate that total parity of final state noted by PF. Okay, that should be equal to its orbital part that is nothing but minus on key power L, where L is the total orbital quantum number of final state. Okay, then intrinsic parity of their component. So this, this will be PN into PN. And we know that the intrinsic parity of neutron Neutron is basically fermions and their intrinsic parity is basically plus one. So it will be simply minus one key power L into plus one into plus one. So simply it will be minus one key power L. Okay. Okay. Now, since this interaction is basically what? Strong interaction. So initial state parity should be same as final state parity. So what I can write, I can write PI equals to PF. Okay, and PI is given that is uh, we have calculated that is minus one and that should be equals to minus one to power L. Okay. So it means if we compare that power, then we'll get total orbital quantum number of final state that will be on. Okay. Now, we can see from that product 
both are nucleons and they are basically identical nucle nucleons. They are basically identical nucleons. And for identical nucleons, identical two nucleons, if you see their state, allowed state. So allowed state for two identical uh, nucleons will be either on S0 or 3P0 on 2. So you have to keep in mind, whenever you have a two nucleons, identical nucleons, there are only possible state either on S0 or 3P012. Okay. So from that calculation, that L equals to 1, you can clearly see that S0, this is not allowed from our calculation because we have obtained that value of L that is basically 1. So this state is not allowed. Okay. So allowed state will be P, this state. And for this state, we can clearly notice that S value will be how much? So 2S plus 1. That should be equals to how much? Oh, uh, sorry, three. It means S will be on. S will be simply on. Okay. So it means the total orbital quantum number of product will be on. Total spin quantum number will be on. Okay. So this is the answer. Thank you.